CAT 2021 slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 13 if 3x plus 2 mod y plus y is equal to 7 and x plus mod of x plus 3y is equal to 1 then the value of x plus 2y is now if you have any idea about solving questions of equations that involve this mod operator you have to recognize that mod of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and mod of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. I should not use the word x here because we have x as a variable there but you know this is something which you ought to know. So there can be a few cases here. The first case is both x and y are greater than or equal to 0. So when x and y both are greater than or equal to 0, I can take this mod y as y. I can take mod x as x. And therefore, the first equation becomes 3x plus 2 mod y can be written as 2y. So 2y plus y, 3y is equal to 7. And similarly, x plus mod of x becomes another x. So this equation becomes 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. Now if you solve this equation and you can solve this equation by simply subtracting equation 2 if this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 just subtract equation 1 equation 2 from equation 1 we will get x is equal to 6 which obeys our initial assumption that x is greater than 0. But if you calculate the value of y, you will get y as 7 minus 18 that is minus 11. So this violates our condition that y has to be greater than 0. And therefore, our initial assumption that both x and y are greater than 0 cannot be correct. So which means we can take another assumption that both of them are less than 0. If both of them are less than 0, this mod of y will be replaced by minus y and this mod of x will be replaced by minus x because if x is less than 0 then mod of x is minus x. So what do we have here? The equation translates to 3x minus y is equal to 7 and here you get 3y is equal to 1 and instantly you will get the value of y which is positive and that violates your initial assumption that y is less than 0. So this is not possible. So what can we do next? Next we can assume that x is less than 0 while y is greater than or equal to 0. This is another possibility. So if x is less than 0, I can simply have x mod of x replaced by minus x and y replaced by simple mod of y replaced by y so the equation translates to 3x plus 3y is equal to 7 and 3y is equal to 1 so y is equal to 1 by 3 but when you substitute the value of y as 1 by 3 you will get the value of x as 2 which violates the condition that x must be less than 0 therefore this third possibility also cannot exist so what should we do now? We, to, we should assume the fourth case and that is x to be greater than or equal to 0 while y is less than 0. So now I can replace this y as minus mod of y as minus y and mod of x as x. So your equation translates to 3x minus y is equal to 7 and this equation becomes 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 and if I multiply the first equation by 3 I will get 9x minus 3y is equal to 21 add up these two equations you will get 11x is equal to 22 or x is equal to 2 which obeys our first condition now if you put x is equal to 2 in any of the equations 
Suppose I put it in the first equation. 3 into 2 minus y is equal to 7. So, y is equal to minus 1. So, is y a negative? Yes. So, here none of the two assumptions have been violated. x greater than equal to 0, we got the value of x as 2. y less than 0, we got the value of y as minus 1. So, now we are asked the value of x plus 2y. So, x plus 2y is nothing but 2 plus minus 1 into 2 which is 0 and hence our answer must be 0.